Welcome to Caracol, one of Uptown's hottest restaurants. Sleek and sophisticated, but oh so casual and comfortable. This Mexican coastal kitchen fires on all cylinders. Caracol is known for its delicious Mexican delicacies. Recipes inspired by the Pacifica coastlines and Mexican street food. What makes Caracol even more special is its co-owner and chef's incredible journey. Born in the slums of Mexico City and raised on a farm in Puebla, Hugo Ortega says his grandmother inspired him to get in the kitchen and cook. He came here to Houston when he was 17 and he got in the kitchen all right as a dishwasher. I never dream up to, you know, open a restaurant here in Houston, but that's why love is all about it, right? Well, and I, the, the, your story, you're a very humble man. You're incredibly, incredibly talented and respected, but you came to Houston as a dishwasher. You were an immigrant and started working in a kitchen. Yes, I started from, um, you know, like those guys over there washing dishes, it's pretty loud. <laughs> but anyway, you know, it's, a, it's been a great. The industry has been great to me. And the city, everything is about the city and, and, and the people, they are this wonderful city and, you know, this wonderful country too. And this chef is known for his wonderful food, like the sweet, succulent Langosta Puerto Nuevo and the rich, buttery scallops, Cayo de Acha, that sit on a bed of creamy poblano sauce with sauteed mushrooms and cauliflower. My grandma and, and it was very, um, very influential in my, life, in my childhood. Um, we, uh, we went to the farm and I, I, I stayed there for uh, five years and there was not electricity. You know, it was just um, a candlelight at night and um, um, uh, to go and get water, I have to put these uh, gourds in a donkey and go to the well. And I learned how to uh, milk the goats and the cows and how to make cheese and chocolate. Who, know, who knew that, you know, at some point in my life would be the strongest point. And uh, now here and there when I get lost, I just remember those things and that, you know, keep me up going. And the delicious food here at Caracol keeps lots of other folks going too. It's definitely a family affair. Hugo's wife, Tracy, is his business partner. Brother Ruben is the executive pastry chef. Ruben's chocolate creations are the stuff dreams are made of, like this delicate yet decadently delicious dark chocolate mousse. The chocolate, like everything at Caracol, is made in-house from scratch right there in the kitchen. The local fish is fresh and arrives daily. Put the butter. The oysters laced with chipotle, Mexican cheese, and garlic, then fire roasted in Caracol's wood burning oven, are one of the restaurant's signature dishes. Then there's the popular bar. It's stunning. And so are many of the mixologists' creative drinks. Like the hard sun. Look closely. It has spicy chilies embedded in the ice cube. Or the Monday morning hangover drink, made with egg yolk, orange juice, and cherry vanilla extract. Does it work? I don't know, I haven't, I haven't tried it. I used to, let's find out, I'm not hangover. But cheers. 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 cheers, cheers, salud. Oh. Oh. Okay. You know what's actually I, it's not pretty bad. Good. <laughs> From the food, to the drinks, to the vibe, there are lots of reasons to come to Caracol. We did not know exactly what is going to happen, but we knew that um, if we, you know, we have the opportunity to do uh, this type of cuisine, they perhaps will be successful. Modest words from a modest man whose success story is what the American dream is made of. Who knows what talent is waiting to emerge from the kitchens here? Love that restaurant. Okay, wine fans. This is the time where we're going to talk about my favorite new wine finds that I think you'll love if you try them at home. And I'm going to take you to a region you may not be as familiar with the wines, and it's called Lodi. 
We all love Napa wines, who doesn't? But let's face it, you pay a lot more for them. Lodi wines are wonderful. The region sits about 100 miles east of San Francisco, has a fantastic growing climate, and as a result is making some wonderful wines. So the first one I want to show you from Lodi is called the Shard. So easy to remember, right? The Shard. I'm going to get lots of flavors of peaches on this wine, some pear. Food and Wine Magazine called the Shard delicious, and I would agree. So Shard fans, that's a good one from Lodi. Okay, Zinfandel fans, Silk Oak. This is another Lodi wine. Lodi is growing more Zinfandel grapes than any other wine region, and they're making some beautiful wines as a result. Luscious dark fruit, a lot of fruit, and then a lot of nice spiciness on the finish. Zinfandel's, as you know, wonderful barbecue wines. Silk Oak is one of my choices. Now, I've got one a little outside the box from Lodi that I like. This is called McManus North 40. And what makes this wine interesting to me is it's a blend of Petit Verdot and Tanat. Tanat is said to be one of the healthiest grapes on the planet, loaded with resveratrol. So it's got some really nice heart healthy properties. So if you like an interesting wine, lots of layers and flavor and some nice spice on the finish, the McManus North 40. So break out of the box. These are my fun finds for now, and you can find them at HEB. Coming up next, details on how you could win a weekend at the beautiful Houstonian. Welcome back everyone. Don't forget, you could win a weekend right here. Head to Good Taste TV right now and sign up for a chance to win a luxurious weekend at the Houstonian, complete with spa treatments for you and a guest at the beautiful award-winning Trellis Spa. That's just for starters. Till next week, everyone, cheers to good taste.